Alright, welcome back to this Unity tutorial guys. In the previous video we built this scene from scratch. Um, I started off with a couple of uh, planes and we put some materials on them, put the gate on and put the cookie on the light to make a nice uh, shadow effect. So in this video I want to put a bit more detail on the scene. Now before I started this video I, I created some uh, blood effects. You can't really see them now but I'll show you them how to do in a minute guys. Um, what I did was I downloaded a Photoshop brush. If you Google um, Photoshop splatters or something you can get some really nice brush effects so I've just painted on the effects in Photoshop and exported them out as uh, transparent PNGs and we're going to put them in our scene to add a bit more detail, a bit more artwork so what I'm going to do is guys I'm going to create a plane um, let's bring it up a bit Oop, up sorry if I press the right arrow and um, I'm just going to drag it out a bit because my my uh, text is quite long. I've got a uh, thing called drag. If I put it on the thing on the uh, plane, you can't really see it very well, guys. It's just a diffuse. But I'm going to tra uh, change it to a transparent and diffuse. Um, now the the difference between a transparent and a cutout, guys, is if we go on cutout for a sec, uh, diffuse. Things are much sharper, as you can see. That it looks like Unity is actually cutting it out rather than blending it into the back to the. Uh, rest of the scene so I'm just going to stick to transparent and uh, diffuse for this one it looks a bit nicer blended in a bit more and as you can see it looks like some something's been dragged along the floor so um, where are we going to put this well I reckon I should put it uh, firstly put it on the floor you know so it doesn't float and then should just put it at the end here guys and uh, there you go there's a bit of detail on our scene looks like something's been dragged along uh, might be taken into the into the gate. Who knows? But um, that's the first one. Um, let's create another plane. And I've got a splat thing here, guys. A splat texture. Again, um, I was playing around with it, guys. I changed this GUI. I'm going to change it back to texture. Um, again, let's change it to a t transparent diffuse. And if I zoom in, this one looks like it's just been been splattered, guys. So I'm going to uh, minus. Minus 90, let's say. Um, needs to be in the right direction because planes are just one sided. Uh, and um, let's rotate it this way a bit. Da, da, da. Alright, guys, so I'm just going to put this on the wall. Make a bit more detail on the wall. Okay, that looks a bit big. Let's make it a bit smaller. Alright, so that's that. It's really simple, guys. Just make a bunch of images and put them on your into your scene <laughs> when it wherever you want. And the last one I did was another splat one, uh, another plane. Just drag it on. Whoops, sorry, guys. Don't want that to happen. Quit Photoshop and um, put the splat on. This is just like a normal little little uh, splat. Uh, let's go on transparent again and diffuse and. Um, Let's make it a bit bigger. Just put it on the floor again. All right, so let's just do that. Let's do that. So it looks like something's been dragged along, and now they're taking it into the gate. And there's a bit of blood on the on the wall as well. All right, guys. So that is that. Um, that adds a little bit more detail to the level, makes it a bit more dynamic. And remember, guys, you can use these as many times as you want. And if you just take the texture and drag it onto an object, the material automatically gets. Uh, created in the materials folder so there you go uh, I'm just going to tidy stuff up a bit let's make a whoops I don't want to put it in there textures and um, yeah let's put all our textures in here okay so and let's put all our materials in there and delete this folder <laughs> keep things consistent alright guys so um, Got a couple more here. Um, command uh, materials, yeah. Alright, guys, so that tidies things up a little bit. I'm going to save my scene, I'm going to call it uh, Dungeon, for example. Alright, and um, the last thing I wanted to do in this video is make a little model. So I'm going to hop into Maya. I was thinking of making a treasure chest or something to add more detail to the scene. Um, so that's a really simple object in Maya. We can just drag out a box. Let's go to smooth shade all. And um, 
what I want to do guys to, to make a little chest delete out this face um, let's make a little cylinder uh, let's rotate it 90 degrees let's move it out of the way and uh, go into face mode select all these delete them out alright guys go back to an object 90 and this is so simple guys uh, making a little treasure chest um, we can go out go into our that's the one this side perspective and um, drag it down a bit bring it up a bit there we go and let's make it long enough so this is the lid of the treasure chest uh, Okay. What we could do, guys, we could merge these together, select them both, uh, mesh, combine. Alright, guys, and um, let's try something here. Let's go to Edit Mesh, uh, Insert Edge Loop Tool. Let's do it here. So now we can combine the two objects together by merging them together. Let's actually go to the tool, and here we go. You can just drag them on together. Boom. Alright guys, so that's our little chest, <laughs> simple as that. Um, that looks pretty smooth. I'm just going to select uh, these edges are going around and soften them out so it looks a bit nicer. There we go, it looks a bit nicer now, doesn't it? So, uh, Alright, that's our little chest. Let's export the selection. Uh, desktop, um, that's my Unity project, assets. Let's make a models folder and let's call this little chest, shall we? Little chest, <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do it as an FBX. Um, I just want to check my units. Uh, I want it to be centimeters, yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's export that. Alright, let's see if it works, guys. Let's put it in. <laughs> see if it works. Uh, that's my chest. Seems to be alright. Let's put it in. Bit big, but I'll just make it a bit smaller and so building scenes in uh, Unity is not that hard guys using simple modeling techniques uh, I don't want to really put lots of materials on this object so I'm just going to create a uh, let's make it kind of shiny gold shall we so let's do that and um, kind of a gold uh, specular my specular shine is going to be really light and um, shiny so let's put that on there looks a bit weird uh, let's make it a bit darker so in the next video I'll probably make it even better guys put a, bit, a few more models in here and uh, finish off the scene alright guys so in in just a couple of videos I think it's taken us about 10 minutes or something we've made a nice little scene here we've got some detail uh, and we've made a little model to put in there, a little tre treasure chest. Alright guys, so in the next video I'll probably wrap this whole little scene up. Um, it's just a little practical thing, a real world example to show you guys how to apply the, the skills in Unity. So uh, I'll see you next video.